Everybody, welcome into Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host and moderator, Sherelle Roberts, and we're here with our spring break Let's Talk to you. We've got Kim Dixon and Michelle <laughs> Wilson is joining us today. Hey, Michelle. Hello. Now, you will recognize Michelle. She is our single gal guru. Uh, she has a great internet, I'm going to call it, call it kingdom, where she gives uh, single gals and what do you call it? Newly, unexpectedly single? How yeah, do you say unexpectedly it? Unexpectedly unattached. Yes, unexpectedly unattached uh, folks tips on how to live their best life. So we're so glad that Michelle is with us today. So we're going to talk about a little bit about what's going on with her. But first, we've got some L8 news. You know we're obsessed. We're obsessed <laughs> with L8. So L8 has announced that bah, 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 they are bringing back peach soda. Uh, they decided to bring back this peach soda after a huge internet uproar. They even put out a little video to announce it. We'll check that out here. So they're bringing back the peach soda. Um, they said that folks yeah. were just freaking out. I mean, even the Sasquatch wanted the peach soda back. Uh, people were sending them all kinds of messages, and so they have decided that in Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and Illinois, they will be rolling out the peach soda once again, and it should be on shelves right now. But you know it never stays on there long. You have to, like, go fight people in the store, Kim. I have fought people in the store for <laughs> it. I have also combed all the gas stations all over central Kentucky. It's a little embarrassing, but it is worth it, and I am so excited today. Yes. Are you an L8 fan, Michelle? I am an L8 fan, and i got to tell you, Peach is my favorite. So is I get it? pretty excited yes. this time of year when it's it rolls so out. I know. So Peach is my favorite. Honestly, I, because I'm not from, I'm from Ohio, so I, never even knew what L8 was and then um, Lee Cruz was obsessed with L8 <laughs> and he would always talk about it because he's from Winchester mm -hmm. and then Miranda Combs she had she had a little L8 addiction and she was like I only drink the diet kind and then one day I started drinking it, and that was that but peach is my fave so if you have an L8 you need your L8 fix um, peach but let me go get mine first <laughs> <laughs> Yours, but really, really, really exciting. Kim's waiting for the Black blackberry. Berry. I, a good I one just, too. just a little appeal to the L8 people to maybe, perhaps, think about bringing blackberry alongside the peach. Just yeah. saying. Just, just put it out all year. I don't understand just, why we have to roll it out. Just give I'd it like to, to me try in a combination of oh. those two. I don't know, oh, a little ooh, blackberry. Peach. Ooh, nice cocktail too. Wouldn't Thank you? I was gonna say maybe if it was frozen, like oh. one side and the other. There we go. Come on, L.A., <laughs> get with oh. it. Okay, so the other thing, <laughs> so while we're over here uh, planning our, our soda ex ex escapade, <laughs> um, Michelle, tell us a little bit about what's going on in town that folks might want to kind of get into if they are doing some solo excursions or you know, want to take a couple gal pals or guy pals yeah. out. Well, it is a big weekend in Lexington. Keeneland opens up oh, this right. weekend. Right. So excited. So I'll be there on Saturday with some girlfriends. Um, downtown, Lexington Downtown Partnership, they kick off Thursday Night Live. Oh, that's so that's happening. Oh. A little chilly, but bring your coat. It's uh -huh. going to be fun. So that's happening tonight. Um, I also love, have you all been to Therapy on Main in Midway? Mm -hmm. What? Great little vintage shop. So they have bluegrass bloom this weekend. Local artists will be in with their fascinators. So we're getting ready for derby season. Lots of fun girl girl pal activities, go solo activities. Oh my goodness. I You know, I had been wondering about when Thursday Night Live was going to start yep. and it's here already. Tonight is the night. Grief. Oh my goodness. And I love it out there. It's always, there's a good crowd. You mm -hmm. have food trucks and mm -hmm. just 
yeah, great experience in Lexington. I remember when it first started, it was just like folks who worked in downtown mm -hmm. that all the suits would come out after <laughs> yes. work and, yes. you know, kind of, mil and now it's everybody, mm -hmm. little puppy dogs and people on motorcycles, mm -hmm. all kinds of folks are out there. So it really is something for everybody now. It really is. Um, I think it, it is pet friendly too, isn't it? You yes. can take it. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh, fun. Well, I saw a huge snake down there one Whoa. time. Yeah. Someone's pet snake? I wouldn't call this a pet. I would call it a zoo escapee. It was a gigantic, <laughs> it was a gigantic snake. And this man had it around his neck. Now, mind you, okay, get a little peek into my life. So I was on a first date with somebody down there, and he was more afraid of the snake than I was. And I was like, mm, it's um. a no for me. He's not protecting you. He no. was not. He no. was not. So swipe, swipe left right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, white lamb. So yes, uh, if you want to see if your first date is uh, keeper material, take them down to Thursday Night Live tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Okay, finally, and this one is really serious, but we wanted to share it with you because it's super important. So a University of Kentucky student has passed away, and the final arrangements have been announced for her. She was a dance team member who had a battle with cancer. Her name was Kate Coughling, 20 years old. She had bone cancer, and she is actually a twin, and both she and her sister were on the dance team originally from Louisville. So they have set uh, her visitation date. It's going to be on April the 8th in Louisville at the Ratterman and Sons Funeral Home on Bardstown Road. But well, she's just a beautiful girl, really beautiful girl. And we wanted to share this with you because obviously no one expects someone so young to pass away. So her family has set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for her funeral expenses. You can see it here. So you can just Google GoFundMe, join Kate's crew. Right now, they've raised $100,000 so far, but certainly I think any more could help because, again, she has a funeral costs, she has a surviving sister, so many, so many things. So if y'all are able, it'd be very, really nice to do that. Such a sad story. You don't expect to hear stories like this from people who are so young, mm -hmm. and it reminds us to take every day to appreciate the things that we have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What a beautiful young woman, those eyes. Oh my goodness, so beautiful and so full of life. And it, it just really is sad. So I hope that folks can contribute yes. to that GoFundMe and, and help out her family. All right, everybody will stay with us. Coming up after the break, it's the Countdown Conversation. And you know, we never fail to bring the spice. We're gonna talk about how do you tell if somebody's jealous of you and what do you do? Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. It's time for the Countdown Conversation. And joining us at the table is Michelle Wilson. This is gonna be her first one, so she's been on the show before, but she's never been in the Countdown Convo crazy. Are you ready, Michelle? I'm ready, bring it on. All right, let's do it. So let's get up here. So college costs, all right, so out this week, We've gotten a general idea of how much college is going to cost for some students. And at the maximum, at some of the, at, at, at the, at the country's best universities, it's going to be more than $90,000 per year to go to college. Now, why it's not going to be that high for everybody, college costs are going up. And, and it makes you wonder, I mean, what are we paying for? Is an education really worth all of this? 90, 90 to ninety-six thousand dollars per year, Kim. What? Mm-hmm. That no, 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 no. Y'all, when I started at UK in the early nineties, it was fifteen hundred dollars a semester. That was it. That didn't wow. include books or room, but it was still very reasonable. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, granted, the, the dorms they did kind of look like prison cells in concrete <laughs> blocks. They didn't have bars on them, but they they were, you know, <laughs> solid. Yes. But <laughs> But that's all that the students really needed at that point. Mm -hmm. Honestly, these are young adults who are there to learn, to become good citizens. And there's what costs ninety thousand dollars, honey. I don't <gasps> know. This one really hits home for me. So I have a junior. My daughter is a junior right now. We're starting to look at colleges. 
What has been a lifesaver though is she's a junior in high school, but she's taking dual credit classes. So her entire schedule right now is at BCTC. So as a junior and senior, she'll take these classes and she'll have an associate's degree before she ever moves on to a four-year college. And even better, there are dual credit scholarships available in Kentucky for any student. So that significantly will make a difference in, in the future. So thank goodness for that programs cost like is a this. Lot, is a lot lower, those costs? Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, it's like half of the tuition cost is already is already part of the deal, plus there are free classes because of the scholarship programs. Oh, see, that, that makes a huge difference. So by the time your daughter gets to college, you'll really be paying for two years versus, you know, that whole four That's at full exactly price. right. You know, it's interesting, so as somebody who's university adjacent, because I, I am a, a professor, I'm telling you, Trying to get students to come to school now is like a celebrity dating show, right? <laughs> you gotta have, you have all these choices at the beginning, right? <laughs> Junior year, senior year, you have all these choices and you're just eliminated in one by one by one <laughs> by who looks the best, by who has the best amenities. It really is a reality TV show. And you know, the young folks are looking at, well, who has the coolest rock wall? Who has the best dorms? Who has the most student activities? And so often these decisions aren't coming down to, well, who has my best major, but who's going to make my quality of life the best? Well, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. That's what's pushing the prices up. Because I'll tell you, uh, that $90,000 a year is not going to teachers or textbooks. No, no. And so... It's, it's hard to balance because the universities are in really tough competition with each other. How do you keep the students happy uh, while also, you know, pack, packing, the, packing the school? I mean, you can't balance costs when everybody wants cool stuff. This is so complicated. Mm -hmm. There are so many things involved. And really, we just want kids to be able to have an education, to be able to go out into the world and live and prosper. Yeah, let's go back to the days where you didn't have an air conditioner unit. You had, <laughs> remember that? You had to pay extra and it was just like in your window dripping all night. <laughs> Those are the good old days that we were in college. There weren't restaurants. <laughs> no, absolutely not. All right, up next, how do you tell if someone is jealous of you? So it was really interesting. There was this little thing on the internet that said, if people say these phrases to you, they might be jealous of you. So one was, I wish I could be as carefree as you and not care what others think. Another one was, you're so lucky to have it all figured out. Another one was, I can't believe you would do that without me. I've heard that one before. And, oh, I didn't know you were so talented. <laughs> Definitely. Or I, evidently, these are things that people say when they might be jealous of you, Kim. I thought people were just complimenting me and saying you're talented at things. Oh, no. <laughs> this is awful. Yeah. You don't like me. Maybe it's possible, oh, yeah. No. Well, I mean, I've heard some of these before. That, that's, that's pretty mean, but I've seen worse. Well, I'm used to an, a, a land, you know, Theater can be very competitive, and you just get, you know, very specific drilling in into exactly what's wrong with you. Oh. Your hair is not good. You didn't get the role because you have bad hair. Things like, you know what I'm oh. saying? It's like people can just, I would almost rather the direct approach. Yeah, than the nice, <laughs> yeah, the nice jealous. Obviously, I'm confused, so yeah, I, I just, just go in there and get them, I guess. Michelle, have you ever got this? How do you deal with it? I, I do get this, and I get the, like, I wish I could have been there. Yeah, I get that comment. Oh. I, I just try to kill them with kindness. I assume that maybe they're going through something something that it's more about them than it is about me. And I'll just say, well, next time, like, come on. There's room for everybody. Oh, I like that. Okay, that is yeah. nice. I'm completely oblivious to this kind of stuff. Like, I am so busy minding my business most of the time that if somebody says something like a little bit mean or j I, I miss it. Usually somebody has to come up to me and go, did you hear so-and-so said that? And I was like, girl, no, I was busy. I didn't have time to worry about what they were saying. But, but yeah, so I mean, I, I, just, I just miss it half the time. And then I'm like, why would you be jealous of me? Like, I am, I am trying to figure out adulting just like everybody else. Like, if adulting was on Yelp, I would give it one star. It's so hard. Like, what are you jealous of? I thank the Lord for my blessings, but trust me, you wouldn't want to, you don't want none of this. I'm telling you, it's a no. So we're just all trying to get through and it's not pretty. I know. You know they, not. The old adults did not tell us the new adults that they were just making it up. Well, and I think with Instagram and Facebook, yes. we show all the fancy parts of our life, all the mm. glittering yeah. gold. And so I think people assume that you don't go through all of the adulting no. issues. We're going through over here. We are. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is not pretty. We're going through over here. All right, everybody, stay with us. Coming up after the break, we are going to give advice to one of our male viewers in Dear LTK. Welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. We're giggling already because we have already been talking about this Dear LTK. So let's get it up on the screen. This is part of the show where we give advice to our male viewers. I'm not sure we're going to be on any help on this one. But it says, uh, Dear LTK, I'm tired of swiping on the dating apps. How do I meet a nice, normal woman in real life? And we're giggling because I said, (laughs) define normal. (laughs) Define normal because... You know, I was saying, I know like some of the most beautiful, (laughs) well-educated, got it all together in their bank account ladies, and we still have, well, I would classify some of us as normal, but uh, Michelle, this is your expertise. How how are you going to help this fella find some nice and normal ladies (laughs) in real life, not on the apps? Well, I think it's interesting because I hear my girlfriends, we talk all the time, we're like, I would really like to just meet a guy in the wild. (laughs) (laughs) Instead of instead of swiping. Mm -hmm. I think girls are out there. You have to look for them. Um, I definitely recommend the Meetup app. Have you all ever used it? Because you can use it for friendship and for meeting people. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to be able, you download the app and you can say what you're interested in. So if you enjoy hiking or board games, then you put that information in and groups get together and they participate in these activities. And it's a really great way to meet people who are interested in the same things that you're interested in. Oh my gosh, that's such a, I would have never thought of that. That's amazing. That sounds really low pressure, too, that you can just meet new friends. It doesn't have to be about dating. That's exactly right. I would have never thought of that. See, I'm so old school. I'm just like, well, go to the library. Go to church, go to synagogue, go to the mall. I was thinking the same mall. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know where you meet. That's interesting because I enjoy hiking. I would like to meet some new hiking friends, but I'm like, I just go into the gorge and wait for people to come by and see if they want to talk to me or not. And that's not going to be a good or effective solution. (laughs) Hey, what are you doing? Do you like that tree too? Kim, I think so. I think so. See Kim just hiding out behind a tree. Do you want to be friends? I could so see that. I'm so going to get tackled in the woods sometime yeah. by doing that to someone. But so, I mean, so I think also when you find people, I think the approach matters. And I think that's where guys get a little lost is on the approach. Um, because somehow, somewhere, there's been like use a pickup line or say something mean to them. And I don't think there's anything in them, like the the advice coming from men to speak to women is not good advice. So uh, Michelle, what do you recommend for a good approach for for coming up to a lady that you might be interested in? I think you need to just be authentic. If we've made some eye contact wherever we are, like I'm kind of showing that I'm interested, I need you as a man to kind of step up and come and just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm so-and-so. You know, can I buy, if we're at a bar, can I buy you a drink? Or, you know, tell me what your name is. What are you interested in? Just be completely authentic. See, you're so good. She's, She's so good, good at this. this. I need you to be my personal coach. Because I think the eye contact and the smile is the thing. If I give you the, then yes, that means, you know, let's do something. But uh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't, I think I try to like give a couple signs like, oh, what are you eating? And sometimes they miss the sign. Uh. I'm not interested in what you're eating. <laughs> if I ask you, oh, are those fries good? Like, I want you to, you know, like, and I think they miss that yeah. sometimes. My girlfriends and I, we had some fun mm-hmm. a week ago. We had these compliment cards. I don't know if you've ever used these before. They are hilarious. And so little cards, they have these fun sayings on them. So one was like, you're the peanut butter to my jelly. Like they're silly. But on the back, you can write your number or you can you can put maybe the next spot you're going to. And so we had fun with our guy friends. We were leaving the spot and we just like handed them the card and walked off and then we got fun text messages. But that's kind of a fun way to, oh, yeah, to okay. show some interest. Michelle, we need you here all the time. Uh-huh. I mean, this is <laughs> these are these are good tips. So, sir, we hope this helps you. There are women out in the wild. You just have to pick up on our cues. We smile. We ask about fries. We slip you cards that say you're the peanut butter to my jelly. You know, that's it. That's your open window. Okay, everybody, stay. Everybody, stay with us. Coming up after the break, we're going to tell you why Taylor Swift is going to be even more everywhere, and we'll highlight our woman we're talking about. All right, everybody, welcome.
welcome back to the show. So it's time for what in the world is trending and pretty much what's always trending, Taylor Swift. Taylor <laughs> Swift is going to soon have her own channel on Sirius XM Radio. It's going to be channel 13, which is her favorite number. It launches on April the 7th, and it was just announced a couple days ago. So this is going to be a limited time channel, so Swifties, get all you can while it's available. Taylor Swift Radio. That's huh. a lot of Taylor Swift. That's a lot of Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. But I know people are going to... Do you like... Are I you love Swifty? Taylor. Went to the Eras Tour Did with you? my daughter. We had, an, had a blast. I have no doubt everything she touches turns to gold. I think she's a brilliant businesswoman. Yeah. And so I think... People will listen 24-7. Yeah. yeah, she just made oh, the yeah. Forbes billionaire list, so she's doing Ooh. something right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So last but not least, last but not mm -hmm. least, <laughs> let's highlight our woman we're talking about. And Michelle nominated this lady, which is, I'm excited. I've actually met her before. Very cool. Her name is Avina Keeley. She's actually, look how cute she oh. is on her bike. Basket. She uh, was born in Ireland, but she lives here in Kentucky now. She and her brother went into business in Lexington when they opened McCarthy's several years ago. That's a fun mm -hmm. spot. She is now the owner of the Grove Complex in Lexington. You may remember that's where the old Harvey's bar was. Now the Grove is home to several different businesses, including an event space, a bespoke bar, a coffee shop, a charcuterie business, a beer garden, and it's just so cute. Lots mm -hmm. of murals, fun things to do. Avina is super active in the community and she gives her time to good causes, especially those surrounding food and food sustainability. So Avina, you are a woman worth talking Yay! about. Congratulations. What an interesting career. So many different cool things. Mm -hmm. Very, very yeah. cool. And she's fabulous. And she's a girl's girl. She wants to support other women and she's doing it in her business. She does it in her personal life. Love Congratulations. Yes, thank you for nominating her. Everybody, thanks so much for tuning in, Michelle. We had so much fun having you on the show today. You are natural. Seriously, we gotta just bring you back for a here. dating segment. Everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow.